Education during a pandemic has been a challenge. Cincinnati Public Schools trying to meet it head on with a blended plan for learning in the fall. A student will be in school face to face two days a week, one week, and then three days a week the next week. Students will be in two groups, attending class in person two days a week and alternating Wednesdays while working from home the rest of the week. This allows for six feet of social distancing, but many parents voice support for returning to school full time. My choice is grounded in the fact that online learning doesn't work for most CPS families, including mine, and social interaction is critical for students of all ages. The blended option is the most cost effective, but hundreds could lose their job. One teacher saying she knows many are concerned about the health risk. I have had up to 32 kids in my kindergarten class. That is not ideal or productive outside of a pandemic, no less during a rising national health crisis. Superintendent Laura Mitchell saying devices and Wi-Fi will be accessible to students and they're working on the bus situation. But she knows a big point for parents what to do on the days the kids stay home. We will also be working with our parents to identify child care that many of our families may need as a result of students being in school two to three days a week. Now, these meetings still being done virtually. We're told more than 1,200 people tuned into this today. The board did approve that blended learning by a vote of four to three. The other two options failed by just one vote. And Superintendent Mitchell says that while this is just the beginning of the plan, it is a good starting point for the administration to move forward. Reporting live, Molly Lair, WLWT News 5. Molly, if a student, maybe a teacher, tests positive, what happens here? How's the district going to respond, Do you know? So the district hasn't said exactly what they'll do, but Superintendent Mitchell did say that they are prepared to shut down classrooms, schools, even the district entirely, depending on, again, those number of cases that they will be monitoring. She also encourages parents to go ahead and plan for that possibility that students will re uh, learn from home remotely for at least part of the semester. Mike. All right, Molly Lair live tonight on the big school plan. Thanks so much. All right, more.